Hello, Harshit? I'm his father. Ah, oh, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Please, please, please. Hi. Come. Sir. Nice to meet you. Thank you, thank you. I'm Good JP. You. Oh, so, sir. Um, I'm from Mountain View, and um, I'm coming here to give you this Associate Android Developer Certificate. You're one of the first people to pass the exam. I think my journey to development started back in the first year of my college. Uh, one of my seniors needed an app, so he asked me to do it and I started looking around on some blogs or some videos how to make an Android app. So I had to learn Java because I, I was a proficient in C++, so I had to learn Java and then like learn the Android framework and how to, how to make Android apps. After that I built some personal projects on my own. Were there any obstacles that you had and how did you get past them? I had uh, what, uh, what's termed as an imposter syndrome because uh, yeah, when, we, when you start developing on some framework or platform, you might be thinking at some part of journey that there might be people who are already working on this platform and are, work, are doing like extremely better than I am. So what's the point of doing it? There's an instructor, uh, online instructor known as Catherine Kwan, you might be knowing her. Yes. So yeah, she gave a good talk on what's imposter syndrome on and how, to, you should, how you should overcome it. So I think that, that helped me because if I hadn't seen that video, I would, <laughs> I would have probably stopped my Android dev journey. Tell me a little bit about like an app or two that you're proud of or, or things that you're working on. I've been uh, working on doing machine learning and HCI because uh, I, I want to build intelligent Android apps. Starting off my first project was an icon pack. It will replace all your icons with the custom ones made by me. So that's one of the projects that's close to my heart. Tell me a little bit about the influence of your family growing up. So my dad is a government employee working in Central Nursing Corporation. And my mother, she's a housewife. My brother is right now in 12th standard. My family was pretty supportive of me throughout the whole journey. They just let me lose and say, do whatever you want to do. But just remember one thing that you should do right by yourself. It's pretty nice to have such parents. Even when I wanted to give this exam, I just asked him, Dad, I want to, I want 6500 rupees. I want to give an exam. He didn't even ask me what the exam's for. He just told me, okay, here's the pin, take it and give it. If, if you think it's right to do. Same goes for my mother. She's always there to help me out. She's always there to support me up. In his childhood, anything you ask Harshit, Harshit, please don't do this. Definitely he will do that. <laughs> yes, and sometimes he suffered also. <laughs> he was very creative and curious also. He was asking so many questions to me. Any short of electronic items, he just want to see what is inside. When he was five years, six years, he opened so many digital clocks, wristwatch. Once I asked him why you are opening, why you are destroying, and a simple answer was that I want to see how these digits are made on the LCD screen. Mm. After his school education, I never imposed Harchit that he should go in engineering or science subject. You are the maker of your own career. I have some sort of a goal to provide quality education to not just college students, but even the school students in general because they are learning coding, but they don't know how to apply it. Because coding is not just for being developers, it also helps you increase your logical reasoning and analytic skills. I'm getting a pretty good feedback from them, so I think I might extend this program to more schools. Was there something else that we wanted to do before we left? So Harshit, we would like to have you come to Google I.O. in Mountain View <laughs> in May oh, and join us. Uh, at the Google headquarters. <laughs> I, I would be definitely be honored. And uh, yeah, I accept this invitation. Uh, thanks a lot for that. You're very welcome. <laughs> okay. All expenses paid. We just You just get on your visa and your passport if you don't have that already I taken care of. I definitely have it already. Okay, <laughs> okay that's, that's awesome. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. Thank you very much for letting us into your home today.